welcome 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 i pray you're all safe and sound and using your minds you can make sound logical decisions yes you can handle the truth let's pray father god we come before your throne of grace and mercy lord god we just say thank you oh lord lord you are worthy of all honor praise and glory father god Lord, you give us insight to the deeper things, Father God, that is going on. And we honor you for that, Father God. Thank you so very much for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that you share with us. Thank you. Father God, right now, I ask, Lord God, that you will go into homes, hearts, and minds. Cleanse them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Renew the right spirit within them, O oh Lord. And Lord, we call it done in Jesus' name. Lord, I submit myself to you. Use me. And it's in your son, Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Welcome to the matriarchal facilitator calm chaos god is faithful and i don't have to tell you that because you know for yourself you know this you already are aware of his faithfulness and his goodness you know the truth. Now today, you must honor that truth. As he brings you closer to the things that he desires for you. The message is the anointing is fit. For you. The anointing is fit for you. Fit. Able and competent. It allows you to do the work and the will of God by being able to discern the truth of a matter. Okay? Able and competent. Able and competent. Able and competent. The anointing is fit for you. It allows you to be able to see the truth of a matter. The spirit of a man, whether he is saying what is true or not, the anointing is fit for you. We have Job 29, 25. I took charge and made the decisions. I led them as a king leads his troops and gave them comfort in their despair. Again, Job 29, 25. I took charge and made the decisions i led them as a king leads his troops and gave them 
comfort in their despair. Fit for me. The message that I got out of the word fit. Faithfully challenge to change. Faithfully challenge you to change. It faithfully challenges you to change. It inspires and ignites the fire in you. To be able to challenge the day that tries to steal your joy by untruths. Okay? To challenge the day that tries to steal your joy by untruths. Okay? To challenge the day that tries to steal your joy by untruth. So you will examine your life, your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day decisions by utilizing the anointing that is in you to discern for yourself whether something is true or not. So the anointing is fit. It's fit for you. It's going to faithfully, faithfully challenge you. Challenge you. Inspire and ignite you to challenge your day by searching out and seeking out the truth. The truth. The devil don't want me to say that. Guess what? I'm going to say it anyway. It's going to faithfully challenge you to change. It's going to inspire and ignite you by fire. Bringing out the fire in you. Bringing out the fire in you. Okay? To challenge the day that is trying to steal your joy. You are going to examine it by truth, by fire, by using the anointing that is fit for you. The anointing that is fit for you. It is a right that has been given to you by Father God to examine every single thing that tries to get your attention. You are going to examine it with a fine tooth comb by the Holy Spirit. You are to examine it for truth. Each and every matter you are faced with, examine it by truth. There is a fire that has been lit inside of you. Use that fire of the Holy Spirit to discern the truth of a matter. Use it, my brothers and sisters. It's available to you for a reason. Use the gifting of the anointing. Use it to dispel every dark matter. Every dark matter. Every lie. Everyone. To break it up in Jesus' name. To break it up. In Jesus' name. To break it up in Jesus' name. Okay? Use your anointing. Use it. It is fit for you. 
There are so many things that vies for our attention every single day. Use your anointing. Challenge what it is you are hearing. Challenge what it is by utilizing the anointing that has been given to you. Father God loves you, okay? Know that he loves you, that he cares for you, and there that there is not one thing that he will keep from you when you earnestly and honestly seek his face and ask him to show you the truth, okay? We're breaking up every dark matter. Every dark matter. We're breaking it up in Jesus' name. It is not your portion to not know what's going on concerning you, your life, and those that are attached to you. The devil is a lie. And the truth is not in him. So I had a dream the other day. And I'm going to share this with you. In this dream, we were at this huge home walking around. And these people were arguing. And I'm like, let's get away from this. So we walked past, like not trying to watch them or anything. Anyways, they continue arguing and then shooting. Lord, <laughs> that's what I called out. And I'm trying to get the kids past them. There's me and mine and also a friend and hers. She seemed to be real aggravated by it all. Not caring. And so I checked the kids out to make sure they were okay. Nothing to send them to the hospital or anything. So I checked them. And after looking, I determined there was no need. Well, this woman seemed like she was real angry in all of this. And looking like she knew what was going on. And I said, Lord, what is this? You know all things. Take care of it, Father. I know you will. Thank you. Your daughter. And I had this vision on 12-6-2-2. Guys, there is nothing secret that won't be disclosed to you if you trust God and ask him for the truth he'll cut it straight to the core for you and give you the truth don't let others deception intercept your truth use your discernment in Jesus name. Thank you for watching. This is the message. I pray it blesses you, but more so I pray it meets you right where you are. Sending you love, light, and healing energy. Know that God got you no matter what it looks like. Bless you, and I see you in the next video. Share this message. By the way, my name is Zalando Barnes. Thank you.